Hey guys, Random Ginger here, and today I'm bringing you a toggleable three clock. But it's a little different than just a regular three clock. Um, it's very similar, but instead of having the like right when this side turns off, this side turn on immediately. It's like this side turns off, then there's a one tick delay when both of them are off, and then this one turns on, and then it repeats. Um, and like I said, it's toggleable. So um, the toggling mechanism is this piston right here. So this is, I mean, I guess it's, you, it's kind of the design of a monostable circuit. This repeater is just a one extra delay, so it's kind of, it sends out a, sends out a pulse of two ticks. So this is a sticky piston with a block. And what, what happens is this sends two ticks into it. Um, the piston pushes the block out over this torch, which powers this, and then pulls it back after two ticks. Um, and then that gets this clock running. And now uh, you're probably wondering, what's all this junk back here? It doesn't really seem vital to the clock. But this is kind of something that I came up with to be able to run the clock, like at one cycle or two cycle or three cycle. You could go as many as you want, but I have one, two, and three set here. Um, and the way that it does that is by... So if I push this button for one cycle, you can see that that piston pushes the block up and down once. If I push two, it does two. Um, and then the way that this happens is, for, for instance, with this uh, first one that sends out um, one extension of the piston. This block, uh, this button <clears throat> sends power to this redstone right here, which comes out and powers this circuit, which starts the clock. And then <clears throat> after seven ticks right here, and I just figured out seven ticks is just how long it needed to be for the clock to make one full uh, circuit. Uh, which kind of makes sense because it takes six ticks to run around, so it's one extra. And then it goes over here, and it powers this repeater, which with the new repeater locking mechanisms, um, like when, if you don't know what they are, when one piston is pointed into a, er, I mean, sorry, when one repeater is pointed into another repeater, um, the repeater, this one right here, it, its stake gets locked until this repeater turns off. So what happens is the clock gets started, and it goes around once, and then this repeater turns off again while this side is on. And while this repeater is off, this signal finally catches back up and locks the repeater. And then the circuit is no longer able to travel around, um, so then it just turns off um, because it's no longer getting power from here. So that's how that works. Um, and then also, I'll show you, I guess I'll show you the three ticks. Three there. Um, and you can see that it's not a one tick pulse. This is a sticky piston. So if it was a one tick pulse, it would just push the block. But it's two ticks, um, which is kind of nice for some things. Um, and you might be wondering, like, what are the applications of this? It seems like uh, kind of a useless thing. But the way I found to apply it was with a punch card memory system. So basically what a punch card memory system is, is like, this is the loop that goes through. So this is 10 bits of memory right here. So um, what it could do is like, say, it's like this, and then like that, and then some dust coming here. But we actually, we'll actually put a glass block there. So right now, the glass block doesn't transmit power, so this isn't getting power at all. But what we can do is say we want to move this around one time press this first one and it gets pushed around once so then say in two more pushes we want the redstone to be unpowered again so say we push this number two button there now the other glass block is pushed into place and that's off so that's kind of how it why it's called a memory system because you can kind of put in whatever blocks you want, that's called programming it, um, and turn the output on and off depending on which buttons you press. Um, so that's how this can be applied. Um, this can be used in a lot of different things for like turning on and off circuits, like maybe if you want something to be able to count up or I don't know. Um, there's lots of different applications for this, 
But this is just kind of a cool circuit that I discovered. Um, probably not discovered. I kind of made it up, but I'm sure somebody else has done it, and I just couldn't find it on YouTube. Um, so if you've already done this and you think I'm copying you, I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> um, but great job coming up with it before me. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel if you uh, want to see more of this kind of stuff. Thanks. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.